Hey guys, it's Tamman here, Doran Love, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Weekly Prediction Series. Last episode we did Week 15, today we'll be doing Week 16, but before that, let's review Week 15. Uh, first of all, Merry Christmas all. I hope you guys are having a fantastic holiday. Uh, thank you for everyone who watches these videos. Um, they're really fun to do, and I appreciate the support, so I uh, hope you're enjoying the holidays. A little Christmas special video here. I thought I'll do this video on Christmas Day. Um, looking at week 15, I went 12 and 4 in my predictions. AFC, I got them mostly right. Chargers won a crazy game. The Bills won. Colts won. Patriots are uh, lost. Uh, Jaguars lost. And so did the Steelers as the Bengals won. So we had two upsets this week. The other one being, as the New York just won their first game against the Rams, can't believe that. Uh, besides that, correct in the AFC NFC column, uh, that Chiefs Saints game was a lot of fun. And then going in terms of the NFC, was pretty much correct on all these except the Cowboys and Bears did win. So overall, it was a pretty fun week of football. I enjoyed a lot of these games, and now we go into Week 16, which. In a way, it's kind of the last normal week of football um, because week 17 is all division games. So this is kind of the last week of football with, you know, different matchups before we get into the postseason. I can't believe this season's already at week 16. I, mean, I remember when they were talking about this, will we make it? And we have made it, so just really great. And the holidays, especially Christmas, are a fantastic time to celebrate. Um things and I think one thing to celebrate is you know all the people who have put in tremendous work for the season so let's start in the NFC game currently as I'm recording this Vikings Saints are going on I think the Vikings were up I don't know but I'm actually going to go with the Christmas miracle Minnesota winning it I think that they've had great luck against the Viking or against the Saints and I think that Minnesota beats the Saints here next up Niners Cardinals I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Um, the Niners' defense has really struggled. Nick Mullins is not playing well. Um, I think CJ, I think he's injured. I think I don't know who's quarterbacking for San Francisco. The Cardinals, you know, they are um, a pretty fun team to watch. That uh, Eagles-Cardinals game was really fun last week. And I think Arizona wins this one. I could see it being a bit close, but I think the Cardinals pull away. We have the Ron Rivera revenge game as his Panthers Washington football team. This is honestly a coin toss with Dwayne Haskins starting. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with the Panthers. Washington has looked very kind of at recently. Their defense played well against Seattle last week, but ultimately they lost. So I think this could be a really close game. I'm going with the Panthers in this one. Lions? Buccaneers, we have a couple of Saturday games. This one's on Saturday, Niners, Cardinals, and so is Tampa Bay and Detroit. Old NFC uh, North rivalry, as I believe the Bucks used to be in the NFC North. Uh, now they're in the NFC South. So, for me, or it used to be called the NFC Central. Because I remember Barry Sanders used to play the Buccaneers twice here back in his day. Anyways, <laughs> uh, history lesson over. I want to go with Tampa Bay. I think Detroit could keep it close. I just think with... Um, their interim head coach being out for COVID prayers to him. Um, I, I just think the you know communication's a bit off. I'm going with Tampa Bay. They looked pretty good against the Falcons in that comeback win. Rams, Seahawks, I'm going with Seattle to win it. Los Angeles is very inconsistent. I think they'll split with Seattle. The Rams beat the Seahawks earlier this season, so I think the Seahawks win this one. So um, that's my pick. And then Eagles, Cowboys. Um, for me, I really don't know. Jalen Hurts has impressed me as a Philly fan. Um, but, you know, their defense has, you know, they struggled against the Cardinals. And Andy Dalton has played pretty decent in his Dallas career this season. I'm going with the Cowboys to win at home. I think it'll be close. I think Hurts will maybe have a pick, two touchdowns. I think he'll play good, not fantastic. Uh, but I think the Cowboys win it in a close one. I just, you know, Dallas at home, I think... They'll win. They looked pretty good recently. They haven't played great teams, but have gotten some nice wins. All right, everyone. This is probably this is our last week in the AFC NFC home until the Super Bowl. So, starting off with the Falcons, Chiefs. Um, Julio Jones is out for Atlanta, and I'm going with Kansas City. I could see this being a potentially high-scoring game. Both defenses for both teams are a bit suspicious. 
the Falcons, you know, I do like them. But for me, Matt Ryan has looked very off and on. So that's why I'm not going with the Falcons. I think the Chiefs win. I could see this being a potential big blowout by KC, but I think the Falcons will keep it close. Jacksonville and Chicago here. Bears-Jaguars. Huge game here. Really in the NFC wildcard with the Bears game and the Buccaneers game and the Cardinals game. This is tough. The Jaguars have really not looked good recently. But if Gardner Minshew starting, someone said this could be a prover game for Jacksonville. And again, upset win. I know the Bears offense has been really good with Trubisky, Montgomery recently. I'm going with Jacksonville. I think the Jaguars beat the Bears. Um, in this upset, I think uh, Minshew comes out there for Jacksonville and lights up the Chicago defense. I know that's a very bold prediction, but I'm going with it. You know, I do like Chicago's defense, and they've been playing very good recently, but I don't think that's sustainable. I think the Jaguars win this one. So two upsets here with the Jaguars and Vikings winning. Um, next up, we have the Giants and the Ravens, a rematch of the Super Bowl from about 20 years ago or so. I like New York's defense, but I just think they're going to struggle against Lamar Jackson and crew, and New York's offense is not really there. I think they could keep it close in the first half, first quarter, but I think there'll be a point where Baltimore picks it up, and I think the Ravens will beat the Giants. Um, let's say 13-30. to 30. So I think New York will keep it close, but I think the Ravens will just take a huge lead. Um, I forgot to mention last week, there's Brian Cott touchdown, which is the first time in like two years, so... Around Christmas season, it's just really cool to see these kind of really just special moments happen. So I'm happy for Dez. He plays the Giants, a team he's used to playing, being a former Cowboy, and I think him and the Ravens going to win. Really excited for this Sunday night one. Tennessee, Green Bay, Titans, and Packers. You know, you have the two big stars, Aaron Rodgers, Derrick Henry. But there's other great pieces. For the Titans, you also have A.J. Brown, Corey Davis, Ryan Tannehill. For the Packers, you have Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones. So about even. I was thinking Packers this week, and this is a tough one because I could see Green Bay winning a miraculous comeback by Aaron Rodgers. The Titans' defense has really struggled. And I thought, okay, Green Bay's passing offense is going to do well against a struggling Tennessee passing defense. But then I thought, well, Derrick Henry and this Titans' offense can run through this Packers' defense, who have really struggled. So I could see Tennessee going up. And the Packers trying to mount a comeback in Green Bay and the Titans battling out. And um, the Titans winning it, but I don't know about the Packers. This is the alternate Super Bowl from last year. Last year, the Packers and Packers and Titans both lost in the Super Bowl. So getting this game here in Week 16, and I don't know who to pick. I'm going with the Packers. I could see an Aaron Rodgers comeback, or I could see a huge Titans win. I think this will be a really telling game. Going into the AFC, um... We have the Broncos and Chargers. I don't know. Um, I, actually, I'll, I'll go Los Angeles. Denver's secondary is really injured. Justin Herbert's playing really great. Uh, better than I expect, and I think the Chargers win here at home. But you never know. Last time they played is that crazy ending. I think the Jets will lose this week. I think Cleveland's offense has looked very, very impressive. Baker Mayfield has looked very nice. He looks really comfortable. So I have the Browns winning a good amount. I think this will be a big game for fantasy as well. Uh, Miami, Las Vegas, Marcus Mariota, I believe, is starting in this Dolphins-Raiders game. I don't know. Um, I like the Dolphins' defense. I like them as a team, but you never know if the Raiders. I'm going for another upset. I think the Raiders are going to get a win here. I think it. I think the Dolphins could win, but I could just see, you know, this Miami Dolphins offense. They've been fine. They've been sufficient. But I just don't know against this Raiders team. I feel like the Raiders are kind of backed up against the wall. They're going to get a really hard-fought win. I could see this game being a very sloppy defensive-ish game. Like Tua and Mariota both having around like 110 passing yards. The final score being like 14-17, 16-13. I don't know. Something like that. I'm going with the Raiders in Las Vegas. I think the Dolphins will lose this one. Colts-Steelers. We have... Um, Big Ben and Phil R Philip Rivers, both from the same draft class, um, going at it here. I'm going with the Colts. I've liked them all season. I'll pick them here. Pittsburgh's been struggling. I like Indianapolis. They're a very solid team. And, yeah, Texans, Bengals. Um, I'm going with Houston. Cincinnati did have a nice win over Pittsburgh. But I think the Texans here will win this one. They've been a team that's just is missing a few playmakers. And then Monday night, Bills, Patriots. 
I was originally going to say Buffalo is going to have this huge win. I think that could still happen, but now I know if Bill Belichick in New England. It seems like this season there's certain games where he plays very well against, you know, he has just this like fantastic game plan against quarterbacks, usually young quarterbacks like the Cardinals and Ravens. But then you have the Rams game where his defense just didn't work out there. So I'm going with the Bills, but if the Patriots win, it wouldn't shock me. I almost wanted to pick them, but Diggs, Allen, for Buffalo has looked really good. So everyone, that will, that will do it for week 16, kind of the last normal week. I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek here. Uh, week 17 is just all division games. So this is probably the last time we'll see this AFC, NFC column. It's been a fun season, but as we kind of near the end of the season here, uh, I, I try to make these videos longer. Um, yeah, so all division games. So that will be kind of fun um, next week. So, in terms of fantasy, I, I took a longer on my predictions because, um, I'm done with fantasy this season. Um, I lost both of my leagues. Um, Nintendo Yoshi's I lost last week. I, I think, I, I think I'm playing, but I'm out in terms of the finals is what I should say. So, um, ooh, Saints up here. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, this is what I'm going with here. Um, I, I'm in. I'm not in the championships. I should have specified my bad. So that one, and then this one here is. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Okay, let's go to my um win Eagles win here. Click the wrong league. Um. Anyways, I'm not in the championship in either of them. So, um. Yeah, I was out last week. Um, I lost by 14 points. Uh, my team did fine, but his team, Team Sega, Sonic's pretty cool, uh, as in the video game company. But he just had a lot of great playmakers. Let's see if I can check this out here. Um, but I just want to note, you know, if, with it being Christmas season, I'm, I'm praying everyone um, for those who are in need and could use some help and some special prayer. So I uh, just want to send my great thoughts and prayers, uh, you know, my blessings out there. It's been a very bumpy year. and I know Christmas for some people are different, so I just want to say my condolences and my good thoughts and prayers there. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Uh, you know, it's a season of giving and just being joyful, and I'm joyful to do these uh, videos and to watch football. You know, even though I lost this game, um, yeah, he had DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, he had a great game. Um, Tyreek Hill, Derrick Henry, uh, he was great. Rodgers, Diggs. My guys did well, but you know, even though I lost, I'm just still grateful to do this. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Take care. I'll see you all next time. I believe next week's game will be, I think, in 2021. So this will probably be one of my last videos of 2020. I'll see you all in the new year and a new video predictions. See you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. Take care and have a good one.